Hi everyone and welcome again to Creative Cakes by Sharon. Today I've got a quick fun tutorial for you and I'm going to show you just how to make this giant size ding dong cake. So if you went to the shops and bought a box of ding dongs, a regular sized one would be around about a two inch round by about three quarter inch tall. However, the one I'm going to show you today is a whopping eight inches round and about three inches tall. Essentially, the ding dong is a chocolate cake filled with a nice creamy filling. So today I'm going to be making my super moist chocolate cake and I've left a link below which will take you to my tutorial for this cake so you can watch step by step how I create it. I also need to prepare some dark chocolate ganache for this cake and I've left a link to my recipe in the description box below as well. Now here I've got my three cooled cakes and I just need to trim off the very tops of the cake because I need nice flat tops to stack this cake. I'm going to use a bowl as my guide to cut out a round centre from one of the cakes. You can either eat this piece of cake or wrap it in some plastic and use it for another time. I'm just going to finish preparing my chocolate ganache. Now here I've got a baking tray lined with some greaseproof paper and I've got my cooling rack over the top. So I'm going to take one layer of my cake and drizzle some dark chocolate ganache right around the very edge of the cake. This is going to act as the glue to stick the layers of this giant ding dong together. So now I'm going to put my centre rim onto the cake, just position it nicely, making sure that I don't have too much of the chocolate ganache on the inside of the cake, and I just leave it for a few minutes to cool and solidify. In the meantime, I'm going to make the cream filling, and I've got some marshmallows here which I'm going to pop in the microwave to melt. You can see that once they come up, they've virtually doubled in capacity. And just using my mixer, I'm just going to stir it up a little bit. And you can see that the air quickly escapes out of the marshmallows and the volume reduces again. So I'm just going to whip it a little bit and add some powdered icing sugar as well as a little bit of vanilla extract. Now I can start to fill the center of my ding dong with this creamy marshmallow filling. It's a bit of a sticky process, but you keep going and you'll get there in the end. Now I'm going to use a bit more of the chocolate ganache on the top rim of my cake. And then close up my ding dong with the last piece of cake. Now I'm going to pour on my chocolate ganache over the top of the cake and using a spatula I'm gently going to ease the chocolate ganache over the sides of the cake so it drizzles down and gets a nice covering. For once I'm not looking for a perfect finish like I would when I'm normally covering or ganaching a cake. This is more of a rough look. So once it's all covered right around the edges properly, I've just popped the last bit of my ganache into the microwave again to make it nice and runny because I'm just going to pour it onto the top of the cake, spread it out very carefully and then wiggle my spatula across the cake to create the ding dong pattern. Once I've transferred my giant ding dong onto my cake platter, I'm going to use a giant sized knife and cut through the ding dong. So 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching me make this giant sized ding dong cake. If you did, don't forget to let me know by giving it a like. And something this good needs to be shared, so make sure you share it with all of your friends. You have to give it a try at home because I can guarantee that you're going to get the same reaction as I did. Lots of excitement and a long line for a nice huge slice. If you do happen to make this giant sized ding dong, I'd love to know about it. So drop me a line in the comment section below or connect with me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram or Twitter. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and turn the notifications on so that you'll see all of my creative cakes and recipes as I release them. If you missed my previous tutorial, I've got the link on screen now. I hope you tune in next time and as always, thanks for watching.